Hello, my name is Minister Joshua Wright, a.k.a. The Gospel Jukebox, and welcome to Weekly Manor from Heaven. We are in week 19, you guys. 19 weeks. Oh my God, I'm just thanking and praising God for getting me here thus far. Y'all, it's, it's been a journey. It's been a journey, and I'm just enjoying the ride. I got my seatbelt on, and God, you just take me along for the ride. Um, Weekly Manna from Heaven is a session where I just share the good news of Jesus Christ. I go into the Old Testament. And I also go into the New Testament. And I just uh, pray that you are blessed by the sessions. I pray that these are words of encouragement to get throughout, throughout your work week, uh, throughout your day, wherever you may be. I pray that is words of encouragement, enlightenment, just to increase your faith and your prof proficiency in the Word of God. Um... You can go to my website at www.gjbinc83.com. There I usually post the sessions, the new sessions every Sunday. If you want to catch past episodes as well as the new one, you can go to my YouTube page, type in gjbinc83, all one word. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let your boy know. How he's doing like leave comments of of constructive criticisms tell me things that you like tell me things that you dislike tell me things that you want to see things like that just let a brother know that you are there because i see that you're watching but nobody's commenting so please do me a favor and comment and be and subscribe also i have merchandise i have gjb ink a GJB ink line with shirts and masks and sweaters, sweats, sweaters and uh, hoodies and all that good stuff. So you can go to www.storefrontier.com slash GJB ink 83 and support a brother. Become a patron. Purchase something. Buy something. Support me. Support your brother. Please. Yes, indeed. Also, if you go to my website, I have the all the social media icons if you look for the YouTube button click on it easy access it'll send you straight to my YouTube page dear gracious and heavenly father first of all God we just thank you God for being God all by yourself we thank you Lord for last night rest early morning rise operation of all our limbs and ligaments giving us a mind to continue to serve you and function on a daily basis letting us see a brand new day that we've never seen before father with new mercy Father, give us clean hands and a pure heart, renewing us a right spirit. Take our hearts, Father, mold it. Take our minds, transform and Take our will, Father, and conform it to your will, Father. Father, this is the day, Lord, that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it, Father. Father, any sins that I've committed against you, Father, I ask you to throw into the sea of forgiveness, Father. Father, I ask you to forgive me for conscious sins, subconscious sins, and unconscious sins, Father. Father, anything that's not like you, God, we ask you to remove it right now. We want to smell good and look good in your presence. Father, we just thank you for everything that you have done in our lives and continue to do, Father. Father, bless each and every person under these sound waves, Father, through the YouTube channel, through the social media platforms, Father. I pray that each and every person that watches this session, Father, be blessed. I pray, Father, that they just increase their awareness in the Word, Father. Because, Father, we have to feed our spirit man daily. I talked about the Holy Spirit last week. And in order for our Holy Spirit to be strengthened, we got to feed him the word. So, Father, I just pray that they take this word, Father, and let it be nourishment, spiritual nourishment to the body. Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. And we say amen, amen. So, again, we're going to be in the New Testament. I will be reading from Ephesians. The book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verses 10 through 18. And it reads as follows. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes 
from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God and pray in the spirit on all occasions. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Use it as a, a topic. Are you ready for battle? Are you ready to fight? Are you ready for war? This is a spiritual war that we're in as Christians, as saints. So we got to put on the full armor of God daily. That means we can't just put it on sometimes and then take it off. Because a, a soldier has to what? Always be on, on alert, always be on guard, and always be ready to fight. So that's us as Christian warriors. We got to be ready to fight these demon warlocks, witches, imps, and all kind of other things that are out there. We got we to gotta be ready. So that's why it's important for us to put on the full armor of God. Now we can't uh, half step and put on certain equipment and leave other things out. Now, when you think about a soldier physically, in the natural realm, a soldier has to have all his provisions. Now, when they talk about the armor of the armor in here, at the time of the text, the Romans are in power right now. So, when you think about a Roman soldier, a Roman soldier is going to have everything that he needs to be equipped for battle. Now, if he's missing one piece of equipment and he gets on the battlefield, we're going to have some problems. We're going to have some serious problems. Because if, let's say, if he's missing his shield, then how he's going to defend himself from arrows or from attacks? Or if he's missing um, his sword, how is he going to fight and defend himself? So just like in the spiritual realm, we have to be fully equipped to fight things. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and principalities and all kinds of things. And and wickedness in high places and things of that sort. So we have to be fully prepared to go into the ring and fight. So we got we have to have all our provisions. We have to have everything that we need to be successful. So let's break down the different parts of the spiritual armor that we need to be successful in fighting against the enemy. Okay, number one, the belt of truth. Truth keeps us from giving in to the world's beliefs. Compare your beliefs and actions to the truth of the word of God. Now, when you think about a belt, what does a, uh, what does a belt do physically? It keeps your pants up or it keeps everything together. Because uh, it keeps everything in line. So that's why the belt of truth, God's word is truth. Like everything about him it's, it's real. It's true. It's, it's, it's nothing. There's no pretend. It's nothing false. So we have to, we have to stay in His truth. We have to walk in truth, and we have to wear it as a belt to to uplift us and keep us sane and, and keep us um, righteous. Okay. The second thing, the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness is being honest, good, humble, and fair to others. It means standing up for weaker people. Now when you think about a breastplate, the breastplate, it covers your stomach, it protects your lungs, it protects your heart. So we have to, we have to protect, we have to keep everything protected. We have to keep everything holy and be righteous and good and fair. And we, and we have, that's why it protects our heart because we have to have a heart of flesh, not a heart of stone. We have to learn how to love people. We have to love, learn how to love our enemies when they despitefully use us hmm, as Christians. The third thing, feet prepared with the gospel of peace. The gospel of peace is being right with God and being contented in troubled times. Sorry, Jesus said peacemakers were blessed. So when we think about our feet, our, we're always constantly moving and going. So we gotta we gotta we gotta keep up the pace and, and keep up the peace. Um number four, the shield of faith. Faith is being sure that God will keep his promise. Faith in God protects you when you are tempted or doubted. So when you think of a shield, 
faith. Now, Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So our shield, it blocks things that we uh, can't see with the naked eye. So it, it, it keeps us protected. It keeps us covered. And that's what our faith does. Our faith keeps us grounded and keeps us and shields us from all kind of things that may come to harm us. Number five, the helmet of salvation. Put on the helmet of salvation by believing that Jesus Christ died for your sins and rose again. Salvation. Salvation is free. We got to thank God for his salvation that brought us back into it's because of salvation that we are here today and when we think about the helmet of salvation it covers our head it keeps our mind covered and sane and lastly the sword of the spirit which is the word of God God's word is our offense weapon when we tell others what the Bible says the Holy Spirit helps people see their bad thoughts and actions and makes them want to be forgiven so that's our weapon, our word. We have the shield, which is our faith that we're that we're grounded, that we that what we believe in, and then we have our sword. Sometimes we gotta go and we gotta go and tear some things up in the spirit realm. We gotta fight. We have to. So that's what we have our sword for. Our sword is our spiritual weapon, which is our word. So we gotta attack the enemy with the word. Our praise confuses the enemy and also the word. When you speak word, when you speak the word over over those things, hmm, you can do some damage, some power when it comes to God's word. So remember to put on the full armor of God. And it also talked about in the text. Let's go back. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the same. Prayer. Prayer is the key. Not only do we have to put on the full armor of God, but we got to be praying. We got to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17 says pray without ceasing. So we got to pray like never before. We got to get on our face. We got to get on our knees. And we got to tear some things down. There is power in your prayer and there's power in your praise. But when you pray and you pray sincere and you pray to, to the Father and you pray with some anointing and power, you're going to cause some damage. So I just want to encourage you to remember to put on the full armor of God each and every day. And remember the full armor is we have the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the feet prepared with the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. And in all those things, don't forget to pray. So I pray that you are blessed by the message. Be encouraged and thank you for tuning in to Weekly Manner from, from Heaven. God bless.